you see Schlegel's takedown? I was sitting on the bench, but I saw the picture of it. That was probably one of the coolest things I've ever seen. I bet he's waiting every game for someone to streak on the field. Because, I mean, he's, he's a strength coach now. He used to be a, a headhunter, so he's probably waiting for that. Andy, he's, he's a pretty good guy. He's an intense guy. Wow. Yeah. He's a, he's a great guy. He um, does his job, comes in with energy every day, loves, his, loves the team, um, and we love him. And I don't know, he just, someone's messing with the team, he, he's going to take care of it. What was the discussion like after they hit kind of that third long pass and this one possession game defensively? I mean, what do you guys want to get back to doing if we start shutting them down? Just executing. Uh, we were up 30 to 7, and I told the guys, we're not beating this team because we're athletically better than them. We're beating them because we're out executing them. Don't get lazy. Don't stop executing. And we had whatever, how many quick points. And then we went in at halftime, and same thing was keep executing, get back to it. They had that play. Uh, some of us walked over the sideline like, Fix it. Whatever it is, fix it. I don't know what it is, but you need to get it done. And I think uh, the guys on the back end started taking more accountability. The guys on the front started thinking, okay, well, if he's going to get, if he's going to throw the ball in four seconds, we're getting there. And it was just a whole overall looking at yourself, like, what more can I do? And I think guys kind of bought into that.